Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all our future tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram at iClone3D. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can use my PayPal email below and any donations are greatly appreciated. Now without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So today we're going to look at cameras, how to set up your cameras, how to um, achieve certain angles, how to shoot on different cameras because we've got a variety of different cameras in iClone. And um, we're also going to look at how to do a two camera setup throughout your whole scene so you only ever need two cameras to get all of your angles covered. So um, firstly you're just going to want to load up your scene and your character and then we're going to go to create and we're going to create a camera. We're going to create a linear camera that will then position your camera up here and in your modify tab you'll see your camera settings accessible now if you don't see this uh, it may be because you're clicked on your character and you'll see your character settings in order to see them you just want to go up to here camera click on that that will then bring them back up and here you can see we've got different focal lengths that we can set etc now what I'm going to show you is a cool way to change your camera style using real world cameras. So to do that, you want to just come down here to your film back and here you can see it says full frame. And if you click that, it's going to open up a drop down menu and you're going to see a lot of different cameras that are real world cameras. So you can see we've got red epics, uh, we've got Arai Alexas, um, we've got a Canon, Sony's, etc. So you've got real world cameras here that will give you real world views. So if I click on that, uh, at 50 millimeters, you can see that's pushed more in and, um, you know, that's given us a much closer focal range. Now, if I change the camera and change to an Arai Alexa, you can see the, uh, mid, the distance changes a little bit more. And this is because of the frame on the cameras. So some of these cameras are full frame, uh, but they've got different sensors. And as you can see, it will zoom in or zoom out according to what camera you choose. So. Um, we'll keep it on the red epic dragon because I love that camera and um, we'll start shooting on that. So now what that's basically going to do is that's going to give you real world camera views. So when people watch your footage back, it will just really, you know, embody that of a real world film because it's using the same exact cameras. So you're getting the same kind of um, feeling that those cameras give you in a real world use. Now. Uh, that's one way you can pick your cameras. So you just use this section here and then of course you can change the focal length, etc. We'll leave it on 50 millimeters for now. Um, what I'm going to do next is show you how to change cameras and, you know, get multiple different angles just using a two camera setup. So what you want to do is create a second camera and now we've got two cameras. So we'll just go to our camera one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down in the timeline. Uh, to 25 frames and then we're going to switch the camera here so if we just click on our switcher at 25 frames so this is this little switcher menu here just right click and then go down to camera list and then we can pick uh, the second camera so at this point it will go into our second camera which is this one so I'm just going to change the angle on this I'm just going to move it here and uh, what we'll do then is go to camera. So in order to see the switch, you want to turn on camera one, your first ever camera, and then you want to go to the beginning and then you want to turn it on to switch. And if we hit play, you'll see very quickly that changes. So I'll just give that a little bit more time, maybe uh, 75 frames and we'll just go again. And then you can see that switch. Now, what we're going to do here is a really cool trick so we don't have to keep adding new cameras. We're just going to use the two cameras that we've got to create all the shots that we need. So to do that, we're just going to go on our second camera here. We're going to go down to where we want it to switch, whatever frame that be, I'll say here. And we're just going to right click and then we're going to go camera list and we're going to choose camera one. So if we go now to the beginning and hit play, that will switch camera one, two, and then back to camera one. Now, the trick here is, is uh, so for camera one, we can see we've already got this nice uh, medium shot, and then it switches to this side angle. Now, with this third camera shot here, we don't wanna go back to this position. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna select camera one here, and then we're just gonna add 
a keyframe here. And so where we've added the keyframe is actually in between uh, our second camera. So effectively, we're not going to be seeing whatever happens here because that is during the second camera duration. So by the time it hits our third camera here now, we can now change this angle to whatever we please. So I'm just going to go up here and do kind of a high shot. Now what you'll see is when we go back to the beginning, you'll see our first camera is the camera shot, the medium up, medium. Then we go to the side and then we go to the bird's eye. And you can see we've only used two cameras. And now what I'm going to do now is here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to my camera list and we're going to go back to camera two. And now on camera two, you can see we've got the exact same angle here. And then it goes our thing and then it comes back to our camera angle here, the same angle. So we're going to change that now. And remember what we're going to want to do is go into our scene. We're going to click on the second camera and we're just going to add a keyframe here in between our third camera angle. And then when we get to our third camera, our fourth camera, we can now change that shot without any issue. So we'll just go extremely close. And we'll keep it like that. Now, if we go to the beginning and hit play, you'll see all them angles play out. Brilliant. Now we saw some issue here, but we can see the camera moving. So we're just going to hide these because we don't want that to interfere in the shot. And I'll just go back again and hit play. Brilliant. So as you can see, we've only still got our two cameras set up, but we've got multiple angles. And it's really useful, guys, because it just saves you constantly creating cameras. And, you know, the more cameras you add to your scene, the more, you know, it will slow your scene down, you, the more processing time it needs, etc. So we'll just right click here and then we'll go camera list and we'll go back to camera one and we'll click on our camera one here. And then we're just going to add the, the keyframe here uh, near the in between the fourth camera angle and when we go back onto this we can now change that angle completely without any issues so if i go back to the beginning you'll see that's changing into all our angles and we are only using a two camera setup uh, again i'll just do one more example so we'll go camera list and we'll go back to our second camera which is this close up. And remember, before you move anything, you just want to go onto your second camera and you want to add the transform key, it's a very important step. Um, if you don't do that, it will cause issues and you won't get the kind of smooth transitions you're creating. So here now we can then change this and let's just go to a complete uh, bird's eye view of our character here. And we'll now go back to the beginning and you'll see that's going to play all the angles that we've created. So this is really useful, guys, because it really does save you constantly creating new cameras. You can just use a two camera setup and get all your camera shots and all your camera angles. That concludes the tutorial, guys. Really hope it helps. And I really hope it helps you get really creative and make some awesome, awesome animations. Hopefully see you again soon for another tutorial.